Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get random numbers in the Blender game engine. So the first thing we're going to do is in the top center we're going to switch that from Blender Render to Blender Game. We're going to stretch up this bottom window, switch it to a logic editor, and I'm just going to be using the default cube for this one. We are then going to come down here, we're going to add an always sensor, and we are going to add a Python controller. We can wire the sensor to the controller. We are then going to add a game property. Uh, we'll just keep it named prop for now and turn on the debug properties. Speaking of which, let's go up to the game menu and do show debug properties. Next, what we need to do is we need to split our 3D window and switch the new window into a text editor. Yes, this is involving Python. So we're gonna create a new text and this is where it splits up into multiple ways of doing it depending on which type of number you wanna generate. For this example, I'm going to be generating a random integer within a range of numbers. So to do this, we're going to do import random, believe it or not. Next, we're going to do from BGE import logic. That's just so we can assign the property to the game object. And now we're going to get the game object itself. So on the next line down, we're going to do cont equals logic dot get current controller. And on the line below that, we're going to do own equals cont dot owner. And now is where we're actually going to get our random number. So let's assign it to a property. So we're going to do rand rand equals random dot rand int for integer, open parentheses. And then there are going to be two variables here. The first one is going to be the bottom end of our range of numbers that we're going to select from, and the second number is going to be the top end. So for instance, if I want a minimum number of zero, I will put a zero in there. So that means the lowest number that this will possibly return is a zero. So let's say I want a maximum number of 10, so that's what I'm going to put after the comma. So now this means it will not generate a number higher than 10. And after that we do a close parentheses. So next we're going to assign the property to the object itself. So we're going to do own open bracket prop, which is the name of our property down here, equals rand. So that basically just tells us to assign this property to whatever rand is. So next we need to tell the Python controller to actually run our script. So let's do that. And actually let's rename our script to random int. So if we hit play, we see in the top left, right now prop is equal to 6. If we quit the game and play again, we see it goes to 10, 7, and it just basically will choose a random number each time. Now if we want to get a random float instead between 0 and 1.0, it's a little simpler. We don't need to import random, and for rand equals, we just do logic dot get random float open parentheses close parentheses now if we play we see it gets a random floating point number which is going to range between 0.0, .0 and 1.1 so that's going to be it for today thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day